Hello. Um, so at the end of last season, um, I was asked to do something pretty or somewhat uncommon on Contra Bassoon. Uh, namely, I needed to play while pl standing up. Um, I've done this before. I, in fact, I one of those really weird bassoonists that actually enjoy playing standing up. Um, every time I've done it on Contra Bassoon, what I've done is um, uh, take a piano bench, put a, a cello rock stop on top of the piano bench, and then put the uh, peg of the Contra Bassoon into that. Um, but the particular piece we were playing uh, was Michael Dougherty's uh, Hell's Angels for solo uh, bassoon quartet and orchestra. And let's just say it's not a typical piece. Um, and the best way I know to demonstrate that is to show you this picture of the Tulsa Symphony bassoon section uh, immediately after our performance. So, as you can probably gather, there's a lot of theatricality. Um, the piece actually begins with the four bassoonists uh, coming out at, while the piece has already started and yelling at and antagonizing the audience and the orchestra. So it would have been really inconvenient uh, to have to s deal, with a, um, deal with a piano bench while I was there. So um, I took a very simple solution. Um, I made a standing peg for the contrabassoon. So this is just a 5 eighths uh, piece of, uh, uh, sorry, a piece of 5 eighths stainless steel round rod uh, with a, a Fox contrabassoon stopper, which is actually just a, a, a walker stopper, um, on one end. And on the other end, I machined a uh, 10 millimeter I machined one end down to 10 millimeters so it would be accepted on the bottom of my Mollenhauer Contra. So here you can see the bottom of my Contra bassoon, the standard Mollenhauer um, uh, peg, and the, the new longer standing peg. Now the, the peg I made works a little bit differently from the, the default. The on the default, the uh, the peg is uh, has a regular series of little pockets, and then there's this screw that engages with the pockets to support the weight of the instrument. Um, the when you're when you're playing uh, with this peg, the weight of the instrument is uh, supported by these little pockets. Now, for the, the since the standing peg was going to be so long, I didn't want to do that. So instead, what I did was machine a little groove in here. Now the groove doesn't actually support the weight of the instrument. The only thing the groove is there for is to keep the peg from falling out of the instrument when it's in place, when you lift it off the ground. The weight of the instrument is actually supported by this, uh, this shelf here that I machined into the, the piece. And it goes in the bottom just like a normal peg, and then stops. Well. Then you tighten the screw to keep the, the peg from falling out, and there you go. Now you may be asking the obvious question, um, how do you adjust it? And it's actually really simple. Um, you don't. I made this exactly the height that I need it to be. It lets me play the instrument at the angle I like to play it at. And unless you're exactly the same height as I am and like to play it at exactly that same angle, it's probably not going to work for you. 
but it does mean that it's very solid. Now it's not perfect. Um, if I were making it again, I would have made it out of half inch stainless steel to save, save weight. Um, and it does have one pretty big problem. If I have my trusty contrastand here, it might hold it, but I'm not going to chance it. So um, next time I actually need to play with this, I'll probably build a new stand because not having a stand is actually very, very inconvenient. Now one added benefit of the extra length is that I can actually use this very special low A-flat extension that can only be played from a standing position. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, uh, I know it's been a little while, but I promise there's some more uh, stuff in the works right now. In fact, um, if you've uh, you may have heard uh, one of the things I'm working on in the background, this kind of mechanical, mechanical whirring sound. Um, I actually recently bought a uh, 3D printer. And I'm not quite ready to uh, share some of the stuff I've been printing, but I, I think you all are going to like enjoy it. Anyway, have a good day.